Hey, I'm Alex, and today we're going to work on the Twitter problem from PSET 2 of CS50's Introduction to Programming with Python. Let's first take a look at the requirements. When texting or tweeting, it's not uncommon to shorten words to save time or space, as by omitting vowels, much like Twitter was originally called TWTTR. In the file code twitter.py, implement a program that prompts the user for a string of text and then outputs the same text but with all vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, om omitted, whether inputted in uppercase or lowercase. So here's a demo we can take a look at. I'm going to stop it right after the first example. So if the input is Twitter, we omit the vowel. So in this case, that's I and E to receive this output. I've already set up my file, so I believe we can directly proceed with coding the solution. Okay, so our first task will be to prompt the user for input. The way we can do that is by writing input, and then inside of these brackets, we can write some kind of a prompt to the user so that they know exactly what we're expecting. In this case, if we take a look at the demo provided by the CS50 team, we can notice that they've used input colon as a prompt. So I'm going to um, write the same one. So that's input colon. And once the user has entered their answer, we would like to store it in a variable so that we can later use it in our code, right? So we can say um, just string equals the result of this method. Okay, so now we have the input and our goal is to omit all of the vowels. Let's begin by creating a list where we're going to note what the vowels are, right? Just list all of them. Of course, there are other approaches, but it's super easy to simply enter all of the vowels and then check whether each letter is a vowel or not. So we can do A, E, O, U and I, it doesn't exactly matter what order they're in, but I think this was the original one. Yes, okay, there we go. And since the description mentions whether inputted in uppercase or lowercase, we'll probably need to consider the uppercase vowels as well. So let's add them to you. A, E, I, O, and U. Okay, there we go. So now, how are we going to remove those vowels from the string? There are multiple approaches, but I believe the easiest one is to iterate through every letter in our string, check whether it is a vowel or not. And if it's a vowel, the only thing we'll need to do is simply replace it with an empty string, right? Because if I have um, the word Twitter, Okay, it's going to be a challenge to write entire word. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. I think that's kind of readable. Uh, it's extremely hard to, to write using my uh, mouse track, but here is a vowel, the letter I, and if we remove it, like if we replace it with an empty string, then we'll just have T, W, T, T, and then we'll do the same for E, right? So we can say, for each letter in vowels, uh, sorry, in string, right? For every letter in our original string, what we would like to do is check if this letter is a vowel. So if this letter is included in the list of vowels, right? This is my list of vowels. If it's inside of this list, then it means it is a vowel. And if it is a vowel, then we would like to replace it with an empty string. So we say the str, our string, is going to equal the same string, but with the vowel, like with the current letter, replaced with an empty string. So replace the current letter with an empty string. So just to uh, quotation marks. And I believe that's pretty much it. So we go through every single letter of the word, we check whether it's a vowel or not. And if it is, we replace it with an empty string to essentially remove it. And now the only task left to complete is to simply print str. 
print our final version of the string. Okay, let's test it with one example from the ones mentioned here. So let's try this one. I'm going to say python twitter.py to run the file. I input my word Twitter and we can see that we've successfully omitted all of the vowels. Now, I just wanted to note that there is another way if you don't like this idea of like mentioning the same letters twice, once in lowercase, once in uppercase, what you could do is you could remove the uppercase letters. But once you do this conditional statement here, you need to make the letter lowercase because if it, it's uppercase, then it's not going to be recognized in this list, right? Because uppercase A is not the same as um, lowercase a. This is not true. So we need to first convert it to lowercase and then compare. This is a valid solution too. Let's run it to make sure that it works correctly. So twitter.py, twitter, there we go. So we can choose either solution, both of them will work. And now let's actually run check 50. I've already copied the command, but you can do it from the website here. And let's see if the solution is correct. And we can see that all the tests are green, which means that our code works correctly. That was everything for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and I'm going to see you in the next one.